Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. George W. Bush and Michelle Obama caught on video that McCain orchestrated. Share tweet flip plus email. With the death of Senator John McCain has come a string of memorial services, lying in state, and wakes. However, now that a week has passed those services are over. But, what people have to say about what went on during them is still going on. Former President Obama, his wife former First Lady Michelle Obama, and former President George W. Bush and his wife former First Lady Barbara Bush were in attendance. It was the unlikely showcase of friendship between Michelle Obama and George Bush that had people talking some in very different ways. The Hill reported. A light-hearted moment between former President George W. Bush and former First Lady Michelle Obama during the funeral service for Senator John McCain, Republican Arizona, on Saturday went viral. Social media users quickly caught on to the brief moment, showing Bush passing something from former First Lady Laura Bush to Obama. It's unclear what exactly was passed to Obama, though MSNBC described it as candy. Bush has spoken openly before about his genuine affection for Michelle Obama. She kind of likes my sense of humor. Anybody who likes my sense of humor, I immediately like," Bush told People magazine last year. The pair are often seen laughing at events together and a photo of them sharing a hug during the opening ceremony of the African American History Museum in Washington in 2016 went viral on social media. I needle her a little bit and around her, I'm fairly light-hearted. The Obamas, are around serious people all the time and we just took to each other," Bush said last year. Both Bush and former President Obama gave eulogies during McCain's service Saturday. McCain died last week at the age of 81, a year after being diagnosed with brain cancer. Obama praised McCain's ability to rise above small and mean and petty political controversies. He also spoke about McCain's sense of humor. What better way to get a last laugh than to make George and I say nice things about him to a national audience, Obama joked. President Trump was not invited to McCain's funeral services, though several members of his administration attended, including his daughter Ivanka Trump and son-in-law Jared Kushner. Defense Secretary James Mattis, White House Chief of Staff John Kelly and National Security Advisor John Bolton were also in attendance Saturday. Senator Jeff Flake, Republican Arizona, on Saturday shared a photo of three former presidents from two political parties in attendance at the funeral for Senator John McCain, Republican Arizona declaring decency wins. Senator Jeff Flake, Republican Arizona, on Saturday shared a photo of three former presidents from two political parties in attendance at the funeral for Senator John McCain, Republican Arizona, declaring decency wins. Flake, who is retiring after this year, joined McCain as one of Trump's most vocal critics in the GOP, frequently criticizing the Trump administration over various policy positions and comments from the president. The retiring senator has repeatedly criticized Trump in the past year including taking to the Senate floor in January to denounce the president's attacks on the mainstream news media. Twenty-four senators, including Flake, attended the funeral service Saturday for McCain in Washington, D.C., according to Roll Call, while six former senators also attended. McCain, who served in the Senate since 1987, was known for bucking party and operating as a maverick senator who frequently crossed party lines to find bipartisan consensus. His funeral arrangements underscored his tense relationship with Trump who questioned his status as a war hero during the 2016 presidential race and blasted his vote last year against a scaled-down Obamacare repeal bill. Trump was not invited to attend McCain's funeral service, instead spending several hours on Saturday at his golf course in Virginia. Trump's daughter Ivanka Trump and son-in-law Jared Kushner attended the funeral. Bush and Obama, who both faced McCain during their respective White House runs, eulogized the late senator on Saturday among friends and family. McCain ran for president in 2008 against the ultimate winner, then-Senator Barack Obama. He was a military officer and prominent American politician who served two terms in the United States House of Representatives as well as several terms in the United States Senate. Prior to his public service, he served the United States in the military. In 1958 he graduated from the United States Naval Academy and was commissioned into the United States Navy. During his time in service, he was a naval aviator who undertook flying ground attack aircraft from aircraft carriers in the ocean. This all took place during the Vietnam War. His service is most notable for his being seriously injured, shot down, and later captured by North Vietnamese forces when he was on a bombing mission during Operation Rolling Thunder near Hanoi in 1967. For several years he was a prisoner of war and was tortured. However, he refused early repatriation and remained with his fellow prisoners of war. 
That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.